So this is a review video that I was hoping I do not have to make. The My ID4, first edition, I have it for a year and a half now. And finally, it's my turn to get the dreaded um, system problem. So let me see if I can show you the message. Switch the car off and on again. Electric system not working correctly, safely stop the vehicle. So that's what's going on. That's the... Uh, additional indicator so the car is dead cannot be driven so i need to be flat bed towed um sadly I, as i call vw service they send a tow truck out this is the photo of it the guy refused to tow it saying that he doesn't know how to do it so he left i called again i'm waiting for a second tow truck and meanwhile i read the user menu so now i know what I need to do, the car, because it still had batteries, I can still put it into neutral, so I'm going to show you. All right, so it will still, it will still put, it can still be put in neutral, which is good, which means the car can roll. And to tow the ID4, there is a special attachment point. So, in the back of the car, are in the mess, underneath the cover, and the other cover down here, that, this guy, is the towing attachment. And this goes to the front, I think, or the back. Um, but let me go find the front attachment point. It is right here. So the guy said, just pop it. Oh, there you go. It will come out. And then it is a uh, counterclockwise screw. So I think the idea is to take this guy out. This thing is very, very heavy, which is good, I guess. And it should screw in uh, this way, I think. So we'll let the next tow truck guy figure out if that is good enough and go from there. Meanwhile, I'm stuck at five-time Burlington's parking lot. So the second tow truck guy arrived and he's much more knowledgeable. He said he towed one before. So we're strategizing how we get the car out of the parking spot. So he's going to push me and I am going to steer the car because as you know, the ID4 cannot stay in neutral without somebody in the driver's seat. So I'm in the driver's seat. <laughs> he's pushing me behind be able to see him and I'm just carefully steering the car out of the spot so that he can uh, tow the car from the front. And luckily this is a little bit sloppy so the minute we get to this point actually it's um, not that bad and boy no uh, power steering it's just harder. So now that the car is in place, he's going to pull ahead of me and get the ID4 onto the fat bed. And you might have noticed when I made the beginning video when we realized the car was in trouble, it was daytime, it was late afternoon. This is um, in Massachusetts. But after the first tow truck which got here, Maybe in an hour, getting a second one was way harder because we basically hit traffic. Uh, so it took him a long time to get here, not his fault. And here we are late at night. I believe this is maybe 8 o'clock or so by now. All right, so we line up the bed. He's going to get the cable and attach it to that one single eyelet. 
and I'm glad that is, um, I guess, wealthy Sam well positioned and strong enough to pull the car at least a very, very short distance. So as you know, what happens is the all electric car there are no gearbox the wheel attaches directly to the motor so you really cannot just drag the car on the road for an extended period of time now you cannot you know let the wheels run free with the gearbox and just pull it so it has to be transported on a flatbed so there you go he attached the cable i think you just double checking I got to put the car in neutral again, and he's going to uh, tighten the cable. And this was easier than I thought. I have this image of the cable go tight, and then you know the car is going to be shooting up the ramp. But actually, it's moving uh, pretty slowly. So I straightened the wheels, he was steering me a little bit, I think the car was slightly uh, not straight. But off we go. And I am almost there, I guess. And he just say you're done, put on the brakes and get out um, carefully. And here I'm just um, helping this lady get out of the parking spot. I guess we've been blocking her. So it's nice of her to uh, wait a little bit for us. So we're basically done here. Uh, he is just strapping the wheels down, uh, raising the bed, and ready to go. Uh, all through this whole thing, VW roadside assistant is texting me, you know, checking whether the tow truck has arrived and so forth. And um, even afterwards, it was texting me again, confirming that the car is on its way to the dealership. And the next morning, uh, Volkswagen Wellesley, which is where I bought the car, they're pretty good with this stuff. Uh, again, eight o'clock in the morning, they text me to say they got the car. Uh, so. Let's see what happens, but so far the experience is as good, I think, as it can be. The fact that now we are one car down, and I don't know how long it's going to take to get this repair, but at least uh, the car is towed safely and hopefully getting fixed soon. So not a video that I wanted to make myself, but here it is. Now you know how to prepare your ID for towing, namely getting that tool from the underneath uh, the back and attach it into the front and make sure the tow truck guys know what he or she is doing and hope that you never have to do this yourself.